Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. I'm Katie and we're on day four of Inktober. I got past day three. This is looking good so far. Anyway, today's prompt is freeze. So I'm obviously drawing something cold and I've gone straight in there with icicles. So I've started with the black watercolour paper again. I wanted to have a nice contrast with the frozen bits and the non-frozen bits and I always think we freeze cold crisp nights as we're encroaching winter so yippee we've got them to come coming up soon and to look forward to. So my first in initial lay down of ink was a Sakura glaze pen and I'll talk about those a bit more in another video perhaps but I did used to use these a lot with water-based markers to create a resist and that was quite a nice effect. However, I knew that by adding a shiny surface to the paper it would bring out the depth of the black paper and also they kind of look like icicles and frozen. That, that's totally my justification here. I've also used the white out ink and the glass pen. I also used it with a brush just to create a nice subtle effect and to create the nice diamond dust on the branch I also used the Sakura jelly roll pens and a Sakura glitter pen. I quite like the Sakura glitter pens. It's really 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 fine glitter in there and I thought that would be quite nice and appropriate to just add a little bit of twinkliness there. And I also used a generic black gel pen, which can be found in most stationers. So um, um, you can just grab them from anywhere. They're, they're just black ink with silver glitter in them. Anyway, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's a bit of a weird one because there are two sort of frozen kind of themes for this year's Inktober. We've also got snow coming up later on, so I wanted to avoid having snow for this one. So I'm prepared for the next one, if that makes sense. I also wanted to add a little owl in there because he's all nice and warm and cosy. And even though it's night time, he's having a nap and I'm totally on board with that. So to make sure that the tree stood out from the background, I decided to coat the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing, but just to add some additional texture in there with the glaze pan. And it's a bit weird because it sort of goes down a weird blue color and then when it dries, it's completely clear. And I really like how that makes the whole thing stand out in front of the background. I think that's a pretty nice, cool effect. And I actually forgot what I could do with these pens. So I'm kind of enjoying Inktober because it's helping me use up and reevaluate what pen and ink supplies I have in at the moment. Let me know if you guys feel the same and I'd love to hear how, apart from the stressful side of things, but I'd love to hear how Inktober affects you as an artist as well and if you find it enjoyable or if you find it stressful or if you find it's a nice way to rediscover or discover new materials let me know in the comments i'd really like to hear that as you can see the light reflecting on it just really adds a little something extra so i just want to say thank you so much for joining me on day four it really is a miracle i've made it this far but i'm really really humbled and warmed by all the nice comments people have left and the interaction with you guys it really makes it feel like i'm not just talking into a microphone and i'm engaging with you and that's really nice and i really appreciate that you're enjoying my videos anyway fingers crossed let's see if i can make it to day five i'm not looking forward to day five it just seems a little bit too well we'll see anyway don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.